Guns N' Roses, My Michelle. All right, special note with this song. Uh, if you're trying to play along with the recorded version, uh, you're going to want to go to an E-flat tuning. Okay, so just drop everything down a half step. So that we're E-flat, A-flat, D-flat, G-flat, B-flat, E-flat. Okay, so you're going to want to do that. Otherwise, it'll sound funky if you're trying to play along with the actual recorded version. Uh, I'm just going to keep it in a standard uh, tuning here just to make it easy for all of us. Um, but just a special note there, okay? So what I'll do here is I'll just play through all the different sections. Just play right through them off the top. Uh, after I get through them all, I'll go back and give you a little more of a guided walkthrough for each part. Uh, before we get to that, pretty please hit that subscription button. Help out the channel. That'd be awesome. So uh, no further ado, my Michelle. Let's go. Okay, so we get this cool intro here. It's just a clean, arpeggiated thing happening. Um, we'll start it here where we'll be at the 4 on the A, and we're just going to pick 2s uh, on the DGB, and then just come right back up through it. Okay, so start on the A, then we go 2D, 2G, 2B, 2G, 2D, back to the 4. Okay, and then quickly hit that 2 on the D. Then we'll switch our bass note down to the 3 of the A. And then we'll go 2D, 2G, to 4G. Okay. Shift down to 2 on the A. Okay, and then 4D, 2 on the G, to 4 on the G. Alright, 
And from there, we're basically just going to make a F sharp minor chord, but we're just going to go from the uh, two up top on the E, 4A, 4D, 2G, then come back to the top there and kind of pick it how we did that initial uh, bit on the A there. So all the way down, back up, hit the four on the A again, and then just pick down through it and back up again. So fun little arpeggiation exercise here. Uh, let's just go through the whole thing slowly real quick. All right. So get it up to tempo, be something like this. And there's a second guitar that's kind of playing a little lead, slow lead thing during the uh, intro there. And it's just kind of doing some band release stuff. Um, basically, you want to be here at the 4, the G. Give that a bend. Then we give it a bend and release. Bend and release. Come off to 2. And then do a 4D. So it'd be something like... And then the second part of it essentially does the same thing, but uh, finishes instead of the four on the D, it's just going to do a bend at the five of the B. All right, two guitars going on, uh, as you might have guessed. So uh, the main riff, the first guitar is just kind of uh, picking around on some, uh, you know, little pinch harmonic notes here. Uh, not really hitting the full chord. Um, it'll add some things later, but for starters, it's going to do it like this, where we're at 4 of the A. We hit it, hold it a moment, go 4-3. Okay, and now we're going to do a hammer-on pull-off where we go 2-A-3, back to 2, to open. So that first bit would be something like... And then it finishes, coming up to twos on the E here, do three twos, open, two, five. All right, and now we do a, a pull off and hammering back on here, uh, where we're going to go with that five that we left off of, pull it off to open, go to one, two, open, back to two. Okay, so be, slowly it'd be something like, Okay, just kind of playing around real quick. Something like that, okay? Uh, so let's just try this whole thing slowly here. Alright, that type of deal. So uh, just get the motion down and get it up to speed. Okay, the second guitar is doing a little more uh, chord action here. Um, come up here and we're going to do the uh, fourth fret on the A, six on the D and G for that C sharp power chord. Hit it, hold it a moment, do a couple quick together, drop it down to third fret for the C power chord. Okay, then we'll go to the B power chord at the second fret of the A, fours on the D and G, open A. Two on the D and G for the A power chord, so it'd be something like. All right. Uh, second part, just come up and hit part of an F sharp power chord. We're just going to worry about the fours on the uh, A and D here. Hit it once, hold it a moment, then we go fours, 
twos on the A and D back to the fours. Okay, this would be. Okay, come down and hit this bulk of an A power chord, just two on the DGB there. All right, and then we finish it doing open E power chord uh, with open E, two on the A, two on the D, and then finish with the F sharp power chord, two on the E, four on the A and D. Okay, slowly, slowly that second part. All right, so let's just do this whole thing uh, slowly here. And then just get it up to speed. Like I said, that first guitar uh, main riff just kind of adds um, a harmony to it, basically. And it's just kind of adding one note. Um, you just want to kind of find this shape here where uh, we're just where we were on that four, the A. But now you want to add basically one fret down and a string under. Okay, so just this shape here basically, like we're making a G chord or something. All right, so uh, it would be the four on the A, but now we're adding that three on the D. Okay, it's just adding that harmony to it. So if you just, if you can just manage keeping that shape while we're changing where we need to go, uh, you can do it that way. Uh, specifically, it'd be four A, three D, hold it, hit it again, and we'll move down to the 3A, 2D. Okay, from there, of course, we're gonna do 2A, 1D. Hammer it back up, slide it, basically, uh, to the 3A, 2D, back down to the 2A, 1D. Come off to an open A. Finish on the 2E, 1A, three times. Open E, back to the 2E1A, bring that up to the 5E4A. Okay, now we're going to do our big pull off hammer back on. Okay, 5A or 5E4A to the open, to the 1 with the open A under it, 2E1A, back to open E to the 2. E, 1, A. All right, so let's just do it all slowly here. All right, and at the very end, there's just this long bend that happens uh, basically just come up to the four on the D and just give that a long bend with a release all right and once the verse kicks in essentially it's just playing that main riff uh, there is one section where it will add uh, a new little thing um, so essentially you want to just go through uh, the main riff as the guitar Two does it with the you know kind of the chords just more of a chord based thing go through that whole thing as we did it earlier uh, but then we're gonna uh, add this part where the first half of it will pretty much stay the same okay where we're at our four power chord on the A here okay a couple times more down to the three to the two to the open okay but now we're gonna just finish it a little different uh, where we're gonna come up back to that 4A power chord, all right, with the uh, 6 on the D and G there, and you want to hit this three times, bring it up a fret to the 5 with the 7s, back to the 4 with the 6s, okay, it's just a small little way it finishes that second time through, all right, and then we would uh, go back to doing it uh, how we did normally throughout the uh, intro and the first time on the verse. Okay, so the verse all together would sound something like this. Okay, 
Okay, chorus comes in, and uh, the first time through, um, pretty basic. It just goes through the pattern once. Um, it'll switch up a little bit the second time we go through the chorus and add a couple elements here and there, but uh, first time through, just the basics here, we'll go uh, five power chord on the A for the D power chord, basically. So five on the A, sevens on the D and G. Hit that up two frets for, at the seven on the A for E power chord. Okay, then we're going to just bring it up a set to 7 on the E with the 9s on the A and D for the B power chord. And then we go down to 4 on the A for that C sharp power chord we were at. All right, bring it up to 7 on the A for the E power chord. And then 5 on the E with the 7 on the A and D for the A power chord. Right, and now we just kind of do a big walk down. Okay, five on the A. Okay, power chord there. Down a fret, four on the A. Down to two on the A. Open A power chord. Then we hit four on the E, back to the A power chord. Okay, so it's... So pretty basic. Uh, let's try it up to speed here. Okay, then we would go through the main riff uh, again. Um, pretty much the same thing. It's just we have a little ending that happens with a hit, a little different ending. And all it's doing is uh, a bend on four of the G with a five on the B, and it's just kind of doing like a, a quick bend and release with that, something like this. Okay, we would go back through our verse progression, uh, which is the main riff, of course. Uh, then we would get back into the chorus again, the second chorus, and uh, this is just gonna add a quick little lead part, um, what, probably once we're going through it towards the end there. And it's just this quick little lead that happens. Uh, seven on the G, just a bend. Five B, five E. Do a eight to five pull off on the E. Eight to five pull off on the B. Hammer on that five, eight, five on the B. Then we'll do a five, seven, five. Hammer on, pull off on the G. Finish on a seven D. Okay, so slowly here would be something like... So just a matter of uh, getting that up to tempo. All right, and an additional thing that happens with that second chorus, uh, we'll go through the whole thing normally once, and then we start to go through it pretty much the same way. Everything's more or less the same, but uh, one chord changes in there, okay? So we'll do the five to seven power chord on the A with the seven on the E. Okay, just as normal, and then we'll start this uh, next section as we normally would with the four power chord on the A up to the seven. Okay, but instead of finishing on that five of the E for the A power chord, uh, we're going to bring it all the way down to second fret of the E power chord for the F sharp G flat there, okay? Okay, just a subtle difference there. Uh, but it finishes the same with that 5, 4, 2, open on the A, 4, E, open A, okay? All right, and there's a small little scale thing that happens at the very end of this also. Um, it's going to be a quickly a, a 2 to 4 on the A with the open D, back to the 4, A, 2, A, open it's just a small little scale thing that happens to lead us into the next section. All right, so let's just try this whole second chorus uh, up to tempo now. All 
right, get to this bridge section here. Uh, come up to the power chord 7 on the A for the that middle voiced E power chord there. Okay, And we're going to hit that, hold it a moment, come down, do the 4 power chord on the A, quickly slide it up to the 5 on the A, and then just to open A, so it would be something like this. Okay, and then we do this quick little blues thing, which would be three to four on the A, couple twos on the D, four, back to two on the D there. Okay, so that, that section would be... And from there, we do the power chord on the 2 of the A, do a 3E to open power chord on the E. And we do that same little boogie-woogie blues thing, but just up a set of strings. So 3, 4 on the E, couple 2s on the A, 4 back to 2. All right. And then we would go back and do that initial section, uh, those first two measures, repeat those again. All right. But after that, we're going to do this uh, B, okay, B power chord here, and it's going to be that blues pattern where we're just adding uh, that sixth. All right. And this uh, uh, just so happens to be sixth fret now, okay, on the D. Okay. So we have our 2A, 4D there hit it, and then we're going to bring the pinky over, hit it with the 2 on the A and a 6D now. Okay, it's just that, that basic blues thing. And we're just going to come off okay, about four times with the 4 to the 6, 4 to the 6. Something like that. All right. So uh, all the way up to tempo, this bridge section will be like this. All right, now we can get into this solo. Uh, kind of a more tame solo for a slash solo, I guess. But still fun, nonetheless. Uh, a lot of bends, a lot of just legato bends going on here. Um, start here, and this initial section has that main riff backing it. Um, it'll kick into a, a new section here in a moment, but uh, just this initial part. We'll bend four on the G with that five B. Just give it a nice slow bend there and hold it. And then come all the way up to 16 on the B and G and give that a bend. And you want to just give it like about three bends and then just hit it normal. Okay, and then we'll do a 14 G, 16 D. All right, and that'll get us into the next section. So up to speed. All right, and once we get into this section of the solo, it, it'll get this new uh, backing section, which shifts the key. Um, I'll show that to you in a bit. Uh, but for the solo part, we'll come up to sevens here on the B and E, just a quick B to E, B to E on the sevens. Okay, do a bend on the 10 B and give it some vibrato. Okay, seven E, pull off 10 to seven on the B. And then we're going to bend nines on the G and the B. All right. Uh, next section, we're going to do this uh, little scale technique here with some released bends. We'll do a 7E, hit the 10B, have a pre-bent 9 on the G, and just release it. All right. And we're going to do that twice. So it'd be something like... Finish that section by doing open E, open B, and then we'll bend a 10 on the A. Okay, fun little thing there. So uh, let's just try this uh, initial part of the um, new key solo up to tempo here. Alright, 
next part of the solo here, we'll do some uh, pinch harmonics. We're going to be seven on the A. Uh, get a good pinch harmonic there. And then we'll do seven D, bend the seven on the A, normal seven A, five. Then we'll do seven E, five, four, and then just do a s small bend and vibrato on three of the E. Okay, so slowly here. Next part will be at five of the E, give it a bend, hit two A, back to the five E, four A with a bend, open D, and then hit five D with the pinch harmonic, release it, and uh, hit it again, just give it some vibrato. Hold that uh, a moment, and then once we transition back into the next verse, we're gonna bend three on the D. Okay, so let's try this here slowly. All right, let's just try this final section all up to speed now. And as far as what the uh, second guitar is doing during the solo, it's doing this uh, variant where it just kind of shifts the key. It's kind of like the main riff, but just new key, slightly different uh, dynamics here. All right, so we're going to be at second fret of the A power chord for that B power chord. And we're just going to hit uh, that power chord uh, about five times. And it's just kind of staccato, choppy style. It's like... Okay, about like that. And we're going to come off to an open A, back to that two power chord on the A. Then we'll hit a, a D power chord here, kind of just like a D chord, with the open D, two on the A, three on the B. So it would be something like... Okay, and then a quick two to open on the A. And then come up and hit uh, this G power chord at three of the E with the five A. And you want to do some... Uh, kind of choppy strums there, um, about six of them, seven of them, and then f quickly finish it but after that last strum to an open A power chord. Okay. All right, so slowly this whole, uh, this whole second guitar for the solo would be like this. All right, and everything uh, pretty much stays uh, as we've seen it till this outro here. Um, pretty fun little outro. Uh, we're going to do a bend on four of the E, come off to a couple of open A power chords. Okay, and you want to do that about th uh, three times, and then we're going to hit a power chord at three of the A, five D there for that C power chord, so it's something like... All right. uh, and at the very end, we get this fun little uh, pull-off, quick lead pull-off thing that happens between the G and the D, and it's just 4-2 open on the G, 4-2 open on the D, but we just reel it off like really quick, about four times. All right, and just finish on a quick, short and sweet open A power chord. All right, so let's just do this uh, up to speed here. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.